This is the Rhythm Authors Podcast for Monday, July 16th, 2012. Episode 36, Lots of Beef. to another edition, a guest edition of the Rhythm Authors Podcast. This, I am your host, Mistaken, joined as always by my co-host, Sound Defense. Hi, internet. I'm, damn, I'm hungry. Dang. <laughs> we're, all, food. we're all very hungry. But, uh, so, you, as you may be confused, because we've been switched to a bit of a monthly schedule, I've changed it around because I have the power to do that. Uh, and we are going to have mid-month podcasts that are dedicated to authors that are not rhythm authors. Is that right, Sound Defense? Uh, well, they might author rhythm, but no, they are not rhythm authors, if you know what we're talking about. We don't even author rhythm. We just, we just chart things. Stop trying, stop breaking the illusion, Dylan, God! <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, the first guest on our newly formed guest mid-month podcast is Dylan from, uh, some places you, you might know, like, Freena Green Authoring and DLC Quick Play and... Anime cow authoring company, and <laughs> that's pretty around, much, dude. That's that's what it, it's. We're we're fusing DLC Quick Play and Fig into Anime cow authoring <laughs> any day now. That would be so good. You have no. I would support that with cash. Like that's. <laughs> I actually love that idea. But anyway, um, so yeah, we're we're joined by one Dylan Ward, as you may have been able to guess, uh, and we have some songs to talk about, right? Yeah, we got songs. We got songs from two companies, because last time I was here, I was only a member of one company. Now, I have two. You have upgraded companies. You've doubled up. <laughs> yes, and now I have songs to talk about. Correct, so... Lots, lots of songs. Since... But no rhythm. No, no rhythm. No, no. no not at all. So, Temple maps just everywhere. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so since, uh, since I pretty much described what this is... Let's kick into the first song. What's the first song you want us to talk about on this episode of the podcast, Dylan? Ah, uh, first song. Let's. I mean, let's start it off classic with Fig, uh, one of the oldest songs. Um, let's talk about Bankai, the epic part three point seven. <laughs> So that was the epic 3.7 rock band mix by Bankai. What do you guys think? I guess sucks. Next song. <laughs> Next song. You hate everything. <laughs> what else do you have? Sound offense, what do you, what'd you think? I thought it was a pretty cool song. It felt like it was sort of like pushing really heavy on every single instrument. But, you know, it sort of comes together and it sounds pretty cool. Like I mentioned before, it sort of reminds me of parts of the soundtrack of the GoldenEye video game. Mm. You two guys thought I was crazy, of course. I always think you're crazy, though. So that's like not a new development. <laughs> um, for me, I, I just I I really dig the bass sound in this song. Like it's so punchy. It's just it it, it has such a unique punchiness to it that no other song I think really uh, has on the network, at least right now. Um, yeah. mm. Yeah, this, this song's heavily, heavily influenced by dance music and by, like, dubstep and things like that. Like, where it has, it has like, just this, this crunchy, crunchy bass. Mm -hmm. and it's just, it's very oh, yeah. predominant in the mix. Right, and then, uh, so, I mean, drums, I mean, if we're just going to talk about, like, specific instruments, I think drums is really neat. It has a lot of disco beaty stuff. So if you'd mm -hmm. like to disco beat, if you'd like to get down with the disco. <laughs> if, if your cymbals actually work. Or if you just play normal. Yeah, um, that's true. Lots of disco beats, so that, you know, increases the challenge a bit. Obviously, the bass mm -hmm. is great because of just how punchy it is. Yeah, the vocals yeah. the vocals are great, too. There's I wouldn't say great. great. I would <laughs> the say they're great. The vocals are insane. The vocals are crazy. The vocals they're are loud. all over the place and loud. And a thing about the vocals is the vocals are actually two songs that are not this song. This, this entire song was a, an, uh, a fully new uh, remix of the song 
uh, that was done for uh, for Rock Band Network by the artist. Um, oh, there's a lot of different parts that are kind of used in the in the live version of the song, as well as the vocals. The vocal parts are uh, half of them are from the, his song Mangle, "Meangle," and the other half is from uh, his song "Party Harder." Party Harder in all caps, mind you. So it's a very hard party. That is, that, that, it's hard to party harder than mm. all caps. I mean, like, where do you go from there? You, you can't. You can't. You, you're spelling it with like different language, like letters. At that point, that's Party the only way. You can... <laughs> what? Exactly. <laughs> Who parties harder, Bankai or Andrew WK? That's a that's a really hard. That, you can't answer that. What if Bankai that's... covered an Andrew WK song? I think he has at some point. <laughs> I have a feeling he has. <laughs> but but now the thing that I'm sure everybody knows about this song is the guitar. And a certain part of a solo. Stop assuming everyone guitar. knows the song. <laughs> <laughs> everyone knows the song. It's world pop. Everybody loves. Everybody loves. What is this Tell- Evanescence? No, it's all about this song. <laughs> yeah, nobody knows Creed. Oh, man, nobody Creed, Creed was gonna be my joke. Um, <laughs> so tell us about the guitar solo. That first thirty percent is interesting. Yeah, the th- first thirty percent is kind of cool. It's got got some like some backwards, just some some diddly diddlies, you know, some easy stuff. And then it kind of has this trill. And that trill kind of goes for 70% of the solo for like a good minute. That's a pretty long trill, dude. It's, it's, it's the longest trill in rock band history. <laughs> you and uh, I knew you were going to flip and say something like that. I hate when you it's do not that. Exactly a, it's not exactly a hotly contested record. I don't yeah, even think that's true. Really. I bet Eminence Front's longer. No, it's longer than Eminence Front. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I know. We, F we, that. We timed, we timed it. You are off uh, this podcast starting now. Sound defense. <laughs> Stop eating food and then talk with me. No. <laughs> I'm hungry, damn it. I'm just All right, kidding. what's going on? Uh, so is that Wait, everything we have on Bankai, pretty much? Yeah. I, I mean, it's talk, crazy. I wanted, to, I wanted to talk about the keys, though, because the keys, yeah. those are like, those get pretty intense during parts of the song. It's just like mm. arpeggios going up and down, and it's just, it, it, it looks like a really difficult track. What? How many dots is that? It's Devil. Devil? Sweet. Yeah. I think everything on it, on it is Devil, except vocals? Yeah, it's full devil except vocals, I believe. I don't think drums should be devil, but whatever. It's a disco mm. beat, get over it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the keys look really good, too. I forgot, I almost forgot about the keys. Um, if that's everything for Bankai, what is the second song you have for us this week? The Anime Cow! <laughs> the second song I have this week is uh, to do with another another barnyard creature. This is Amazing Horse by Weeble Stuff. <laughs> stuff staken come on get on my horse come on baby get on my horse that's not what don't, it says don't don't say that dude just don't ever say that again why because because don't fine i won't anyway this is yeah as you said amazing horse you've probably heard the song let's be honest i think most people have heard the song but um <clears throat> unlike certain other meme songs i think this one translates to rock band incredibly well and it has what a second, makes you say that? And it has a second verse that I did not know existed. Uh, <laughs> mostly because of the vocals. I mean, the, uh, the harmonies in this are actually pretty complex for something that is just a viral video, ultimately. Yeah, that is kind of bizarre. You know, the, the vocals are really complex. I think the, uh, the key's lead, although simple, is a lot of fun to play because it's very prominent and sounds neat. Uh, mm-hmm. Bass looks stupid. <laughs> Bass is like I'm gonna I'm gonna run in place with my hands. Pretty much, like <laughs> yep. Poor bit. Like buy this song if you hate your bassist. <laughs> I feel like that's a pretty good uh, a pretty good thing. Uh, and yeah, uh, and guitars. Nothing really to speak of on guitar. Yeah, it, it, yeah. it's got some pretty simple leads on guitar. It's, yeah, it's most nothing. of the time when I looked at guitar, there was just nothing happening, and I was kind of confused. When I was recording it, I wasn't sure if guitar was in the song, and I was like, crap, <laughs> is this? <laughs> halfway, into the, halfway into the song, there's a guitar riff, and I believe that's it? Yes, yeah, I think like there's, there's, one, there's one part in the middle. That's it. So can you, uh, can you talk about like how, like what made you guys want to get that song, and maybe like uh, how the process went? 
Uh, and that's when, DLC, and DLC Quick Play, this, this, this song was licensed right before I got into DLC Quick Play, okay. just a little, little while before, but from what I understand from the, fo- from the threads uh, on our secret forums... Um, Don't do that again. <laughs> uh, it was pretty much just somebody said, hey, th- I like this song, can we contact this guy? And Zero, Zero uh, the, uh, the owner of the company, was like, okay contacted him and, he's, and the guy's like sure send him the stems at what point did, at what point did you learn that there was a second verse to it <laughs> i learned there was a second verse to this song when i actually went on itunes uh, I, i'd heard that that uh it was in the one of the announcement threads and so i was like oh cool i kind of like this song so i went on itunes i found it i bought it it's like it's two minutes long the video is one minute long i was like what 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 is this? so i listened to it and it's like second verse <laughs> <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> it really does come out of nowhere for anyone who knows the meme because you're just expecting, you're like, maybe it'll repeat the first verse. It's almost as if Neon Cat had a second verse. <laughs> and it was just completely different. You're like, what? <laughs> this is weird. I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, but I think, do, uh, Sound Defense, do you have any more thoughts on Amazing Horse? Um, not, I, I was, I have no idea what this video is. I've never heard of this song until Rock Band. Really? We'll have to really? Li- yeah. We'll have to link you to the video. It's somewhat vulgar. <laughs> Only a tiny bit. Only a tiny horse bit penis. Horse penis, you know, so. Do I have to censor that? I'm not sure. Um, I, don't I don't know. I don't think so. I hope not. Does Family Guy censor it? No, they don't. All right, well, then forget <laughs> it. Yeah, I like that they were using Family Guy as a, uh, as a meter for how. <laughs> as a barometer. As a barometer for how <laughs> vulgar we can be. <laughs> um, so, um, if we don't have any more on Amazing Horse, we can get to our third song this week. Our third song will be our second and last song from Fig. Uh, this is a rehash of a very old song, uh, the first we ever put out on the network through a different company, uh, Frontier Factory Remanufactured. Frontier Factory remanufactured by our namesake, Freen and Green. And what do you think, Sound Defense? I think that is a pretty cool song, actually. I like the drum part there. Definitely. Mm. It's a pretty... That drum part's pretty great. Tom work is always cool for me. People need to use more toms. Use more toms. Everybody, (laughs) right now. I was trying to work work a tomfoolery joke into that somehow. Um... Yeah, but I mean, the drum track's really neat because it's it's really it's really did I just say unique? Am I repeating myself? Yeah, yeah. But it's really cool because of how unique it is. Um, <laughs> because it has so much toms and it doesn't it it, it it uses toms and spaces that people might typically use a bass pedal, and that's mm. kind of neat. Uh, <clears throat> I think the part that always sticks in my mind is always the guitar, the main guitar riff. Mm. That sort yeah, of that main guitar riff is kind of it's very iconic to the fig name, right? Um, it's very like floaty, watery mm-hmm. kind of uh, a sound to it that again creates this very unique feeling. I didn't watch bass. Me neither. Well, the <laughs> bass the bass in this song is is kind of cool. Um, it, it, it has Tell a good flow cool. to it. It has a good flow to it. It's it's not too overly difficult, but it is fun to play. It, it is constantly moving, so it's not it's it's nothing to scoff at. It's not a, like a terrible. Oh, I will bass scoff part. if I want to. Oh. But actually, a story about this song about um about the guitar, um okay. actually about the whole song, um back before we had an authoring company, be- back careful. before Trav, careful had careful. careful. Why? I will not allow you to call <laughs> anyone out on this podcast. I'm confused too. I don't know okay, what he's talking. Just about. go ahead. Just be yeah, careful. Careful. <laughs> God damn it! So. <laughs> Before we uh, before we started doing our own authoring at Fig, uh, we had given this song the original version of the song. The, it was actually this was the first recording of a Fig song uh, that we ever did, and uh, we had given it to a company called Noble Rhythm. Um, Careful! And I <laughs> stop that. <laughs> and they did it unsatisfactorily there you go is that pc enough it wasn't the best 
let's say it wasn't it wasn't the best it could have been there were some questionable choices and we actually at one point during playtesting cycle said hey could this isn't it's supposed to actually be like this and could you change that to that and they were kind of like nope now explain why so, you guys didn't just author it to begin with because i know the story um, but people might not um uh, the I can't remember the 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 full parts of the story. Um, it's it's been a long time since uh, since back then. Just but a I, basic summary I, is fine. I think it had it ha- had something to do with uh, the fact that uh, Trav was can- is Canadian, and so uh, the XNA program doesn't it, it doesn't go outside of the U.S. The, it, you can't have hmm. whoever is receiving the payments be in another country that's not the U.S. So what we ended up doing was making me the front <laughs> for our operation. I get I get the payments and I from there I distribute the uh the payments to our clients and to Trav and outside of the outside of the country, inside of the country, wherever it needs to go. So technically I am actually the owner of Free and Green <laughs> authoring. So you get the payments and then you disappear into Mexico. <laughs> Yes, I disappear with my two hundred dollars. <laughs> you can buy liquor for that money. I could buy liquor with that money in Mexico. Anyway, in um, Mexico. Oh, so uh, so you've been saying we a lot. What part of uh, Friend and Green are you? The band. <laughs> the band Friend and Green. What part? What part are you? I, are you like I, tr- are you like trumpet? Second like trombone. I did. I did vocals on a on a song once. I thought that was blue fusion. <laughs> That was Blue Fusion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just busting uh I'm just busting his chops. Um, when I say we I mean the author and company. Yeah, I know. I'm just busting your chops. Uh I know, I know. Do we have anything more to add on Frontier Factory? Uh this song this song's really great and you should buy this and not the original version. Because we have not seen a single because penny from the original version in two years? It's also sup- wow. this is also two years. this is also a superior version because it includes harmonies and keys. Yes. 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 And and nope. ha- totally revamped authoring. The recording, actually the entire recording is new. All the parts were re-recorded for this version. So nothing oh. is from the original version. So that's cool. Uh sound offense, do you have anything to add? Thoughts? Sounds like music from Super Meat Boy. Mm, I would agree with that. Slightly high res so that I because it doesn't sound like MIDI, but it does sound higher, like a high res version of that kind of music. I agree. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. So uh, we can jump into our last band for the evening now. All right. So uh, the next band for the evening, we've got, we've actually got two songs from this band. Uh, this is from DLC Quick Play. Uh, the first song is uh, Words Cannot Express by and an it sounds like kindness and what do you think mistaken i really like drums on that track drums are great yeah mm-hmm. it's especially the guitar oh my god just, um, just solo everywhere finally did, interesting you know you know it's really nice to see a song get seven bass solos uh i didn't think mm-hmm. it was possible but totally possible if you just drag a solo marker across the entire song it's possible actually that would only be one solo cal thanks for not following along with the gimmick but uh <laughs> Yeah. It's close enough. You could split it up. So if you haven't figured it out by now, the song is two instruments. One instrument is vocals. There's not even harmonies, is there? No, no harmonies. It's just, it's just a dude. One vocal track. It's just a dude in his piano. Yep. Just singing soulfully. From the so, heart. Yeah, this is this is El- this is Elton John. So <laughs> Calm down with the Elton John reference. He at least had drums in his songs. Um so yeah, it's just a guy on piano. Uh, and I think the piano works pretty nice. It's nothing too complicated. It's all—it's pretty much all chords, right? Yeah, I think yeah. I think the uh, the I haven't seen the um, the legacy track for the keys yet, but I'm pretty sure it's all chords on that too. Mm-hmm. So it's a good like sort of intro song for a uh, a keyboardist, and it'd be fun to do key vox on, which is assumedly how, assumedly what the plan was for it. Yes. 
Uh, do you want to talk about vocals a bit? Vocals, vocals on a song are great. It's the usual un- un- unkindness vocals of very. He, he's just he's a great singer. Like he's a really great singer, and he he can hold his notes. Like there there are some crazy note holds in this song. How many times have you sung the song in rock band? I have not sung it yet. I have not had a chance. Oh, someone, Shame. someone likes the song until he has to play it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but sound offense, you had a pretty good reaction to one part of the vocal track. Would oh, you like yeah, to discuss it's just, that? It's it's basically like th- this one woe that he does is just drug. The how do how do I describe it? It's sort of <laughs> it's sort of like he was singing the song and then somebody crazy came up and grabbed him and started shaking him. <laughs> <laughs> and his pitch it's just like, dips whoa, whoa, up whoa, and down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Except like actually on pitch and <laughs> right on pitch and, like. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, like, it's it's really not that... It's, it's not as ridiculous as I'm making it out to be, but just, like, given the seriousness of the song, I was sort of surprised and did not at all see it coming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What does he end up tearing this on vocals eventually? I think I think it's, like, a four or five. Because mm-hmm. it, is, it is very straightforward. There's nothing about it that's really... Other than that, it's not surprising. And again, there's no harmony, so it makes sense. But, yeah, it is sort of like... Whoa. Like, <laughs> just all of a sudden, this guy, this guy, this guy is just doing that. Whoa! All right, let's pretend that didn't happen. Um, <laughs> what, what happened? Uh, Google Google Hangout was just like, "Are you still there?" <laughs> it's like, "Yes, I'm recording a podcast." Google Hangout. <laughs> Never using you ever again. Anyway, just wanted to check in, see if you're okay. Yeah, this is not Google check in. It's Google Hangout. I brought I brought you some milk. You, you and your friends, some milk and cookies for your friends. Get out, mom. <laughs> <laughs> but honey, I'm just trying to. I just trying to help. <laughs> Keep the door open. <sighs> what do you? What do you? What are your friends doing with all those magazines? What are these? Uh, what have I told you about these magazines? This is terrible. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> anyway, an <in> unkindness. <laughs> yes. We can't do this ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I can never be on back on this podcast. Yeah, this is the third time you've ruined this podcast. <laughs> Third and final time exactly. on this podcast. <laughs> um, so, any more final, any final thoughts on this un- and unkindness song before we jump into the last one? Uh, it's, it's. I mean, it's pretty. It's a very straightforward song. It's two parts. You know, it's 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 fun. Don't pick this up if you're not into vocals or keys, though, because you're just you're not gonna have much to do. <laughs> you're gonna have nothing to do. Like, oh, man, maybe if you want, if you just want to support an unkindness, if you like their other songs, then maybe. But you know, generally. Keys and vocals only should apply. Speaking of their other songs. Mm-hmm. Speaking of their other songs, we have one last song for the for this week. Um, and this is A Death by an Unkindness. Bleeding seeds of sour lust Unto the mounds of bleeding crust Unto all that holy dust I shall return Baked in fire Unkindness, and what did you guys think about it? Is it a death or a death? Tell me. It doesn't matter! What do you mean it doesn't matter? <laughs> Come down! The entirety of my thoughts on this song matter- hinges upon whether it's, not called, whether it's called a death or a death. It's a death. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that song's pretty nuts. It feels Broadway to me. Mm. Like, uh, I, I would agree with that. Yeah, it feels very... Huh? It does kind of. I can see that. Somebody, you know, singing this monologue on a stage with a spotlight on him. Yes, mm. I'm still here. God. <laughs> yeah, finally. <laughs> finally. It's hit everybody. <laughs> this is, ah, oh, Google Hangout. You are not being nice to us right now. Um, <laughs> you're on notice. Yeah, you're on notice, Google Hangout. Um, so, yeah, basically, uh, so, yeah, I feel like that song's really Broadway, and it's really, it's very dramatic. It's very dramatic, very dark in its tone, the tone of the vocals and the uh, the lyric, the lyric subject matter, mm-hmm. which is b- a, a very big contrast to the rest of uh, an unkindness work because like the Sorry. rest of his, his stuff that he writes is all very happy, like like whoa 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 yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> and this is this is like you are all going to die, but most- we all die, <laughs> but mostly me, <laughs> mostly me. Yeah, now, the reason for that is actually um, uh, the reason that we got this band. Um, 
was we know we knew the, of them f- through um, Zero found out about them through the Amazing Atheist who wrote the lyrics for the song, and that's that's why the tone is so different because he's a very angry, sad man. Right, he's an atheist. <laughs> exactly, and he's, atheists no- notably hate everything. Hate everything, especially you. That's beside the point. But, especially yeah, themselves. So he, especially themselves. <laughs> but that's how uh, that's how we originally signed the band. We heard of them uh, through the Amazing Atheist, and um, and we signed the entire four song EP, released Foundations way back when. Um, it sounds really good. I mean, it's it's a very big contrast to the rest of the uh, the Unkindness catalog, but it's still it's 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 very different, and that's what's good about it. It's right. not just more of the same in a way, which is it. It, it really breaks up the uh, the rest of the songs, even though everything else on the al- on the EP is very different from each other. But this gives gives just the right amount of of totally newness mm-hmm. to really make it all variable. Yeah, and for me, because I I really dig the sort of Broadway style music. I loved the stage hands when they came out, uh, and mm-hmm. still love them. I, uh, and this isn't like that because that's sort of that's sort of Broadway Broadway. This is almost like yeah. one man show Broadway. Broadway. Yeah, uh, it, it it sounds fantastic. And uh, if we're gonna just talk about instruments for a minute, I think keys are just totally nuts on the song. Uh, uh, keys keys stand out very well. Yeah, it's not offensive. You want to talk about keys a bit? Yeah, there's there's, there's all all of the keys. How are many in this keys? Song. How many of the keys are in the song? Sound of it? All of them. There's like three thousand keys. <laughs> no, seriously though, it's like uh, this song is really key heavy, and it never lets up that I could really notice. It's either. Mm-hmm. Uh, playing on chords and it's not just like samey chords it's like you have to change chords rather quickly in a lot of places or else it's like doing this surprisingly quick run it's like do 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 like really fast mm-hmm. and it's it's just consistent for the entire song so it's a real key to work out but it looks like fun yeah, the- yeah it's, it's very yeah. constant and it's a lot of um it's a lot of triplets so it's like do 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 and it's just constantly changing back and forth all over the all over the keys it's it's very hard to uh to keep up on pro keys with this song mm-hmm. it, the pro keys chart reminded me a lot of china grove the sort of chords mm. in that yeah then, i was i was actually going to say that ha yeah. stole it from me mm. <laughs> yes um but yeah i did my own petard <laughs> Uh, but yeah, keys look fantastic. I think uh, drums are probably pretty fun. Um, I don't think they're anything spectacular, but they're a lot of fun. But really, again, sort of like the other An Unkindness song, even though this song does have keys, bass, and or I mean, does have drums, bass, and guitar, I think keys and vocals are what you should buy this song for. Mm. Now this very much this one does have harmonies, but it's only at the end, right? Yes, it's it's a very angry man screaming, "We're all going to die!" <laughs> Not literally. Or something to that. Yeah. yeah. Something to that extent. It's it's very it's very much that sort of like he sings the chorus again and then the last um the last chorus feels almost like what's going on in his head is what the harmony is. Mm. And it it, it adds an, a, an overtone of sort of a, a, a depressing tone to it that makes it incredible to me. Uh but yeah, is that everything we have for the Freen and Green and DLC Quick, the Anime Cow Authoring Company. <laughs> the Anime Cow Authoring Company. Yes, this is this is all we have. Well, then uh, for har- for harmonics, we are harmonics. Woo! No, <laughs> Woo! Um, <laughs> we make money. We, we make have money. all the daughtry right here. Money, pour it on me. Pour. <laughs> Where's the money you had earlier? <laughs> Wait, uh, it's in the uh, other room. I, I oh, did take too long to grab it. The joke's lost now. Um, the joke's lost. So yeah, uh, as Rhythm Authors representation for this podcast here, uh, enjoy a teaser reel of the songs that we have in theory.
was a quick taste of what we have coming up from Rhythm Authors. If you want to know more about Rhythm Authors, you can go to RhythmAuthors.com, follow us on Twitter at at RhythmAuthors, or subscribe to our YouTube channel, YouTube slash Rhythm Authors. If you like this podcast, you can subscribe in iTunes or follow our YouTube channel for the video version. And if you would like to know more about the Rock Band Network, you can go to RockBandNetwork.com or Creators.RockBand.com. I have been Anime Cow. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at at, the, at at Anime Cow, not at the Anime Cow, because someone some, else owns that. Someone else has that, and I've been trying to buy it off him for years. <laughs> um, eons, eons. Um, you can uh, so you can you can check me up there. Uh, I have a new podcast that I've started recently with uh, with Mistaken and a couple other friends, uh, people you might know: Wef Jebster, Arcanon, uh, Rhythm Bastard. Um, it's called, uh, it's called The Echo Chamber. Uh, you can find it on iTunes now, I believe. Uh, also if you search, uh, search Zonecasts, uh, The Echo Chamber on, uh, on Google, you should be able to find the, uh, the website. Um, and check out, um, the stuff we do, uh, from DS Quick Play and Freena Green, uh, coming to the Rockman Network near you. Okay. If you are interested in me or any of the things I do, because you've seen everything from everybody else already, you can check out my Twitter account at at the Sound Defense, and you can also check out my various YouTube videos at Sound Defense RB. And if you are interested in what I'm up to, you can find my writings at GameZone.com and PMSClan.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at at Mistaken. That's M Y S T A K. I N guys, this is the first guest podcast. How do we think it went? I think it went great. I think it was, I am it was the it was the best podcast you ever had. Because you're on it. Yes. Wait, what? What was the second best podcast you ever had? Um, or I ever had the other one that I was on. You've been on two other ones. <laughs> it's the, the the last they one. Tied. And then the one before that was the third. Okay. So, not nearly as much me. This one is the best because it has the most of me. <laughs> it's a high anime. It has a high cow quotient. High cow quotient. Lots of high beef. cow. Qu- I can't even say it. Lots of beef. <laughs> cow quotient. Oh, I got the name for this episode. I don't care that you can play classical piano music. Are you done fighting with your sister now? Yes, hopefully. Don't f***ing come in here. So that was the epic part 3.7, the rock band mix by Bankai. <laughs> uh-huh. Sorry. Um, <laughs> and it is your deal. <laughs> what was that about? I started, I had a cough. <laughs> oh, oh, that was an actual cough? Okay, I thought that was a fake cough. That sounded a lot like a fake cough. No, I had a cough. I, don't I know thought what you're it was about. like real <laughs> laughter. I had no idea what was going on. So that was the epic part 3.7 oh, of Rock Band. Sh- sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, I can't believe that happened. I mean, wow. That was so poorly timed. <laughs>